did find to be uh, problematic for them. Why Professor Juan Cole? There were so many and are so many critics of the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. Why were they singling out him? Mm -hmm. Or should I say, um, were they singling out him? Were you uh, requested to do this yeah. on a regular basis? Well, that's it's a question that that comes to mind, of course, and people have asked me before. I only know what I know, uh, and I don't mean to quote Secretary of Defense Rumsfeld uh, or paraphrase him. Um, I know the facts concerning Professor Cole and the instances that have been reported. Uh, they are accurate. That's what I experienced. I don't know of any other specific person. I do know the context of uh, tension and hostility between the Bush administration and the intelligence community, and, and more broadly, uh, any critic of their policies. And the context at the time was uh, intensely—well, uh, it was extremely tense and uh, quite partisan. The politics we try to stay out of, and the intelligence community, of course, we cannot. Uh, and this was happening at a time when there was the whole Valerie Plame incident, Joe Wilson. Uh, one of my colleagues on the National Intelligence Council, uh, totally without any intention or desire on his part, became embroiled in the presidential re-election campaign when a uh, offhand—not offhand—an an off the record innocuous remark he made was seized by the administration as proof that uh, the intelligence community was trying to undermine its policies. Nothing was further from the truth. He had been asked simply, uh, didn't the intelligence community know that there would be or assess there would be ethnic uh, sectarian strife in Iraq in the, in the event of an invasion? And essentially his answer was, well, yes, um, but that was viewed as uh, treasonous. Mm -hmm. So that was the larger context, context. Juan Cole, why do you think you were targeted? Well, I agree with you, Amy, that it's a little unlikely that it was just me. Uh, but I think I was targeted because this was a propagandistic uh, administration. This was an administration full of people who thought they could pull the wool over the American people's eyes, and who tried very hard to do that. That was their business in life. That's what they got up every day to do. We had a lot of debates earlier uh, in, in the 21st century, in the first decade of it, about you know, was the Bush administration, you know, basically uh, perhaps poorly informed, but uh, trying to do the right thing? They thought there were weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. They thought that they could kick off democratization by going in. Uh, and I think that th that Mr. Carl's account uh, suggests uh, very strongly that those who thought that the that the administration was just full of dishonest people were the were, were the ones with the right position. That is to say. The, the, the Bush administration uh, kept, you know, denied that there was a civil war in Iraq when there clear, clearly was. It, it, it kept trying to put the best possible uh, um, polish on, on whatever news was coming out of that place. It, it made it a kind of uh, a demonstration project for, for the administration and therefore was hostile to reality. And uh, they were hostile to me because I was uh, every day reading the Iraqi press, uh, going to the Arabic media, uh, and uh, I had interviewees on the ground in Iraq, and I was trying to put together a picture of what actually was going on there. And I found violence and uh, uh, guerrilla resistance and uh, uh, militia activity and, and ethnic cleansing and civil war, and that was not the image they wanted to purvey to the American people. We're going to break and then come back. We're talking to Professor Juan Cole, professor of history at University of Michigan. He's actually in Amsterdam right now. Uh, the Bush administration attempted to smear him. The uh, One of the people they went to to do this was Glenn Carl. Glenn Carl, who worked with the CIA for 23 years and has just written a book, The Interrogator. I, when we come back, I also want to ask Professor Cole about the state of war in Afghanistan now, because President Obama is giving a nationwide address today on what his plans are for Afghanistan. And I want to talk to Glenn Carl about his book, The Interrogator, um, about being assigned to interrogate a top-level detainee at one of the CIA's notorious black sites overseas and what he came to believe about him. Was he a 
high-level officer, official in, the, in al-Qaeda. This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. Back in a minute.